Hey everyone, so today's video, as promised, is the first impression full face video from the stuff I got in my previous haul. I'll link it down below if you didn't see it. It is the video I uploaded right before this one. I'm going to try out a bunch of the products on my face today and see if they're any good. The previous full face first impressions video I did did not go well at all. I mean, I pulled through at the end, but there were just so many products that were not amazing together like they weren't necessarily terrible products but they just didn't work very well together so hopefully today we have better luck so if you want to see me put stuff on my face then just stay tuned <laughs> okay first of all let's do some headband action now my face on my chin I've got all this dry flaky skin because yesterday I decided to for some reason like rub my face with my towel too hard and I gave myself like carpet burn on my face so the rash is now red and pink Feeling. doesn't hurt or anything but it just looks really ugly so please excuse that it may look really bad once I put makeup on top of it but YOLO it's fine I have extensions in at the moment like a million extensions and I just don't know how to go about my life with these in my hair they're just clip-in ones by the way anyway so I'm gonna start with some of it the Too Faced Hangover 3-in-1 setting spray I'm just going to put some of this on just to waken myself up a bit Ooh. Oh, that's so good. I am so tired right now. I woke up early, went to get a blood test straight away, which always makes me feel like really like meh afterwards. And then I went to the gym after that and busted my ass. And then I got home and had a shower and now I am here and I'm like, <laughs> all right, let's try this. This is the J1 Jelly Pack. Dramatic firming skin with improved elasticity and pore smoothing. Looks like this, J1. And it's a Korean brand, which I love Korean brands. So I'm excited to try this out. I've never actually heard of it, but apparently it's like all, all that lately. <laughs> like people are loving it or something. I don't know. Looks like this. It's like a silicone kind of product. It's so sticky. Oh. It feels like a peel off face mask. Is it a face mask or is it? I thought it was a primer. I might just have to Google this. Makes my skin feel so tight. It's like super glue for your skin. A multitasker that firms skin, hydrates and grips makeup. It feels like a freaking face. It's so sticky. That makes sense though to grip makeup on top of it. I'm very intrigued. I've never used anything like this before. Okay, please don't be a fail. I have some Clarence foundations right here so we could give one of these a go. I'm going to go straight for the paler one because it's so pale right now. But I'm just going to check it before I like talk about it too much because it's probably going to be too dark still. Let's have a look. Oh, it's all separated. I filmed that unboxing video over a week ago. And then I went overseas and then I got back and then I had doctors and I was visiting my family member and I was editing videos like crazy. Today is Friday. It's the first time I've gotten a chance to film. So yeah, I filmed the unboxing like a week ago. I can barely remember any details about it. <laughs> okay, I don't know. I think this is like the only foundation I have. So we're going to roll with it. This is the Clarins Pore Perfecting Mattifying Foundation in shade 2, Nude Beige. I also have shade 3, but that's just going to be even darker. So we're going to try this shade. It's probably going to be too orange or too dark for me. Maybe we can just mix it with some other foundation if it's that bad. I don't know. Let's just try it out. Oh, stuff is sticking to my face, like fluff. <laughs> I'm going to start with a little and then use my Flawless Finish Sponge by XO Beauty to blend. Let me zoom you. Hello. It's very matte. I don't usually go for matte, but we're trying something new today, guys. I mean, I go for matte, just not like this matte. Like, this is so matte. Blends out easily. It's quite a thick... Um, formula. Okay, no joke. My pores look non-existing. Like, you can't see my pores at all. What the heck? That primer is so good. And it's actually easy to blend on top of, even though it's a sticky primer. The one thing is, my face feels quite, like, dry now. It's probably just a combination of the primer and this foundation is so matte. I have a single piece of glitter on my face and I cannot get it off. Story of my life. Okay, I still have some discoloration on my skin but like what the heck look how nice and blurred my pores look they're like gone what now i need to put some of this foundation down my neck so that i kind of match i'm gonna do a little bit more foundation up here too this foundation looks so smooth i think if you're dry skin though you should give it a miss because it does not um feel very 
kind on dry skin. I'm going out for dinner tonight, so hopefully this doesn't look like a total disaster. So this is how it looks. It's probably a little bit the wrong undertone for me. It's a little bit orangey. Do I like it? I like it. I don't know if it's the kind of thing I would reach for again and again, because I usually go for something with a little bit more of a glow, like a natural finish. Not necessarily a dewy skin knit foundation, but just like this is so meh for me. It'll be fine once I add highlighter and stuff, but straight away I would say it's like not a favorite of mine, but it does it look so smooth across my pores in conjunction with that primer especially, but I mean it is designed for pores, so hopefully it's good by itself too. I'm just gonna put on some of this Instant Light Lip Comfort Oil by Clarins. This is the mint one. Oh, that feels so good. I love the scent of mint as well, or like the flavor of mint. Okay, so hopefully I'm not wrong in saying this, but I don't think I got sent any concealers in that PR unboxing haul. So I just went for a dig through my makeup and found the ColourPop No Filter Concealers because I haven't tried these yet. I got these a couple of PR package unboxings ago. I've heard some really good things about these, to be honest, so I'm really excited to give them a try. And I'm going to use these to kind of hopefully lighten up my complexion a little bit. Okay, so I have the shades of Fair Neutral and Fair Hair, 10 and 5. I'm using Fair Neutral, it just, ooh, it's so lightweight. Just to kind of lighten up my face a little, hopefully. And then I'll use the lighter colored right underneath my eyes. Oh, that's so easy to blend. It reminds me of my um, favorite Urban Decay concealer, the Naked Skin. It's a very similar kind of texture. Can't really comment on the coverage yet because obviously I've already covered everything. It's so easy to blend. Okay, now let's go in with Fair 5 under my eyes and see if it's good. This one's super yellow based. The other one was kind of neutral. I like the packaging too. White lid, silver ring, and then it's just got no filter concealer on the top. Okay. Did I use like a mile too much? Yeah, yeah I did. Oh well. It's easy to blend, so that's good. I used too much, but like it's still blending out really nicely. It's not heavy. It's not thick and sticky or anything. It's really lightweight and it covers good. Look at that. That's so brightening. This is legit. Yes, so good. Oh my gosh, okay. We're off to a good start today, guys. Woo. Okay, overall first impression on the concealers. I am a fan so far. Hopefully they wear well throughout the day. Hopefully they don't crease or anything. They don't look like they've creased at all at the moment, but of course I just applied it, so who knows. At least I kind of look like a match, right? Kinda. I don't know. This is a pink setting powder, which gives me the shits. I really want to try it. I don't know. Should we just do like a really light dusting? If it's a disaster, I can always just put on something else on top. <laughs> so this is by Beauty Bakery. Flower setting powder in pink. I'm going to take a little bit on my sponge. Try this under my eyes. Just because I think the pink might help to kind of illuminate a little bit. Ooh, too much. Too much. It looks very smooth. The concealer and the powder, my under eyes look like a newborn. Yes. Actually quite like it, that powder. Kind of like brightened up under my eyes, a little bit on the apple of my cheek. It's not bad. I'm going to try more of those beauty bakery products too. Oh no, I forgot to do this. I suppose I haven't actually set my face makeup, so I still kind of can, but... Maybe I'll try that in a different video. Now we have the Too Faced Born This Way Ethereal Setting Powder. Love the packaging. It feels quite luxe. Ooh, fancy. It's got a little, like, plastic cover on it. Oh. Too Faced living in 3016. Wait, 3017? I don't even know what year it is. Oh my god, it's a little love heart. Oh. It's the little things. The actual powder itself looks kind of yellowish, which I like. I am so freaking matte right now. I just kind of stamp loose powder and then buff it in afterward. Okay, so overall, the first impression on my base. I actually think everything worked decent, especially at the primer and especially the um, concealer. 
by ColourPop. I am now going to do a second impression, which I know sounds really strange, but in my first impression for the Kim Kardashian West Beauty Contour Palette, the Powder Contour Palette, if you haven't seen it, I'll list it down below for you. But basically, I was very 50-50 on it, and a lot of people asked me to use EXO Beauty brushes with this to see if it's any better than with this little brush here. So we'll do that today, and then I'll try that Kat Von D Cream Contour in a different video. So I'm taking a medium face brush with this side first, which is the warmer side. By the way, this is the Light Kit, which in my last video, I said isn't really good for super pale people so if you are paler than me it's probably not gonna be any good this is so orange but let's try it with this brush to see if it's any better to be honest already it's better <laughs> it's still very orange but just because this brush I guess is bigger it's got more bristles and everything it's not so like I don't know like this just kind of placed the product and didn't blend it out very well I guess this brush if you've got a brush like this, it doesn't have to be mine, of course, but if you've got a bigger brush like this, it just helps to diffuse the color so it doesn't look as orange. And maybe a little bit on my nose. Okay, now let's go in with a bronzer brush and then the cooler tone color, which of course is the gun tone. It's so powdery. Now, I did not mind this color at all. It was more just the application that I wasn't a fan of. I definitely could see myself getting use out of this highlighting contouring palette by Kim K. It's not my favorite still. Even with these brushes, it's still not my favorite favorite, just the application. They apply fine with the brushes, but I mean, for some reason, I just find like Kat Von D and like Tarte and stuff just less fussy. I just find that I have to make sure I blend it well. And like, you've got to be careful with the product on your brush because so much comes on your brush. You don't want to put on like too much bronzer or anything at once you'd rather build it up you know so yeah I don't hate it like I never said I hated it it's not my favorite still but I mean it's okay I just think for the money it's way too expensive I think to be honest like on my skin tone as you can see it's still a little bit too dark maybe when I've got fake tan on I'm going to have to give it another go because I feel like it'll look a lot better on me when I'm fake tanned the highlighters I really did like I was a big fan of the highlighters I think she should sell these separately because they're really good I might use some but I just want to try this as well because this is new this is the beauty bakery illuminator tap top open slowly this is in the shade frosted I believe that's how it looks quite glittery but it's very pretty I'm just gonna buff it in well cuz I don't know I'm not a fan of like glittery highlighters there we go now that I've buffed it it looks really pretty it's actually kind of subtle when it's buffed into the skin anyway I think this would be so pretty on like your collarbones just with a bit of glitter it's too dark for me <laughs> YOLO I'm just gonna use some of let's do this one from the Kim K palette See, with a smaller brush, this is one coming to EXO Beauty, probably not till next year, to be honest. You know, like this kind of size, so much better than this. Like, this was just too big, in my opinion, for highlighter. I even usually use a brush slightly bigger than this, but like, this big is just really big. I actually like this brush, though. I think I'm going to use it for like blush and stuff. I have this Cheek Tint Coral Days by Elizabeth Arden, but I don't know if this will blend well on top of my foundation. I could give it a go. This could be a total disaster because usually I would apply this before my powder. So this is how the product looks by Elizabeth Arden. I'm gonna just try it with this Kim K brush. I'm gonna try and get like a tiny amount and then I'm just gonna see it there. I'm just gonna kind of put it on my hand. Oh, it's so cooling. You can't really see it though. I need to build it up. Ooh, too much, too much. Ah, ah, move. Okay. Oh, with the sponge. Oh, that's so pretty. It feels so nice on your skin. It feels like ice. It actually didn't blend too badly on top of my powder. Huh. Okay, I know I put on quite a bit, but I'm just like really obsessed with this color and the finish, like the formula, sorry, finish, the finish. Oh my God, it feels so cooling. It looks so beautiful. It just like soaks into your skin. Oh, I'm having such a good first impression day today. Like almost everything is good. It's, like full on stains your skin. Look at this. It's like smudge proof. Look at that. Eh. So I'm just going to quickly fill in my eyebrows with this Urban Decay Brow Box. I'll be right back. BRB. Oh my gosh. I saw this meme the other day and it's like, have you noticed how everyone stopped saying BRB in group chats and like private messages? Because we live on the internet now. 
Your mum doesn't have to like force you to disconnect so that she can use the landline anymore. Okay, I have Marc Jacobs Undercover Eye Primer. Oh, I was expecting it to be on a stick for some reason. Oh, it's skin toned, yes! Yes! Okay, that makes me happy. Literally like all of my brushes are dirty again. This happens to me way too often. Okay, I need more. I thought a little would go a long way, but it kind of doesn't, so we'll be generous. It kind of smears. Look, it's like smearing my powder and foundation underneath. I'm just going to use the Shenix So palette quickly with the flesh tone color just to set that and give a little more coverage before I start with the other eyeshadows. I've got so many new eyeshadow palettes and I don't know which one to use today. I've got the Colourpop one, I've got some Marc Jacobs ones, I've got a Beauty Bakery one, and some new Ofra ones and new MAC ones. Like, what do I use? I don't even know. Looks a little bit cakey and funny on my eyes, that primer. It just separated my foundation and stuff from underneath. And the inner corner looks funny. I don't know. Mac Jacobs, what are you doing to me? Might be one of the first products I don't like. I'm going to start with the Beauty Bakery Ice Cream Palette, Neapolitan. And I am going to take this orange, why not, random, mixed with Sunday Funday. This is a fluffy blender brush. I'm just kind of like putting that just in the crease randomly because I've no idea what kind of look I'm going for today. But apparently I'm using orange. I'm going to use that Colourpop palette too. I feel like I've done so much today already and it's only 12 o'clock. So weird when that happens. Like when you get heaps of stuff done in the morning and you're like, oh yeah, sweet, it must be the end of the day now. Time to relax. And then you look at the time, you're like, what? These eyeshadows are really nice and pigmented, easy to blend. Now I'm going to go in with the Femme Rosa Carouche Colourpop palette. I'm going to take the kind of like muted pinkish neutral colour, this one right here. I'm going to buff that straight underneath my lash line on the outer half. I love this colour. I love Colourpop eyeshadows, they're so good. This is no exception. First impression, it's great. I'm going to take a little bit of this deep into that crease as well. This is a Naked Heat palette eyeshadow brush <laughs> by Urban Decay. Just kind of blending that underneath the crease and like into the deep part of the crease. I'm making this up as I go if you couldn't tell. <laughs> I'm going back in with my fluffy blender brush in this color just here. Just taking a little bit to blend all the colors together. Now what color? Maybe this color's got like a purple reflect but it's also like gold which you can't even see in real life. In real life it looks gold. On camera it looks like purplish. It's so weird. Just taking it with an eyeshadow brush. This is not as pigmented. I'm gonna try it with my finger. Okay, that's kind of better. The reflect is super pink in this. Pinky, purple. It's like pink, purple, gold, bronze all at once. This would probably look better on a base to be honest. Like it's pretty but you can see straight under it too. Okay, hold on. Let me put on some of this color on my lid. I'm getting a little bit of fallout but I'm really packing it on so it's kind of to be expected. The shimmery colours are really disappointing to be honest, like it's just not going on my eyelid like it looks like in the pan. At all. Not even close. Pretty much just like leaving a shimmer. And heaps of fallout. You were doing so good Colourpop. <laughs> Still love Colourpop. Look at those mattes. I'm going to spritz my finger with some setting spray and see if it makes it better. Mm, marginally. It still looks pretty, don't get me wrong. but. If you could see it in real life, you'd understand what I mean. Like, it doesn't look like how it looks. It's just not working. Oh, this smells so good. Oh. Just using a shimmer brush. Shimmer fan brush. Using a little bit of that orange. My crease blender. Just going to bring that down the bottom too a little. On my inner corner, I'm going to take this shade. It's like pinkish. Oh, look at that ugly, um eye primer on my inner corner. Okay, so overall the eye primer, no. The Neapolitan palette is pretty. I like it. The only thing about it that I don't like is I feel like I've got every single one of these colors just like everywhere, but they are really pretty if you're looking for like a good neutral palette. They work really well. And then as far as this palette goes, love the mattes and am not really a fan of the shimmers. Even that inner corner one is just like kind of underwhelming. Like it's not that bright. Like if I go in on top with a pencil brush, the same brush with my palette, like, 
look how way more reflective that is than that. Okay, so that is how the eye makeup looks. It's very bright, very fun. I think it came out pretty. I got this mascara here. This is the Bold and Bad Lash by MAC. I love the packaging. It's so cool. It's got two different brushes. So I'm going to start with the smaller brush. Look at this. Oh, that's so good. Oh my gosh, I love this brush. It's so easy. I'm going to use this small brush in those inner lashes. Okay, and then this is the other wand. It's like a huge thick one. The formula of this is nice. It's quite liquidy, but not too much that it's like splattering everywhere. Ooh, look. Quite impressed. God, it annoyed me so much when I was doing my um, Kim Kardashian like review and people were like you are reviewing this way too harsh you don't review anything this harsh and I was like I'm reviewing it like normal it's just going to show that it's not up to par with you know things of a similar price bracket it's like people expect me to either one give a good review just because it's someone famous or two like they just assume that I'm lying about everything else when I'm not like People say, oh, like you don't complain about products. But if you watch my videos, you'll see that I actually do sometimes. It's just that I guess I don't try many products I actually hate. I end up liking a lot of things, but you know, I don't know. Those people obviously didn't watch my last full face first impression. Thing is with the beauty world these days, like companies know what's good. It's hard to make something that's terrible. Like you'd have to be an idiot to make something that's terrible, you know? This video is going way better than the last full face first impression. I'm finding a lot more good things in this one. I don't know, it was kind of fun though, right? Like seeing all the fails as well. So far there hasn't really been any fails in this one apart from maybe that eye primer. I'm so disappointed because I love the Coconut Range by Marc Jacobs. I'm definitely gonna have to give it another go um, and see if it's any better the next time around. But yeah, that just went so cakey and weird and separate -y. I like this mascara. It's not my favorite mascara, I have to say, but it works amazing. I love that small brush. Why is it not my favorite, you may think? I don't know. It is really good though. I don't know. I'm just not like, oh my god, you know. I would happily use this. Oh, it looks even better up close, actually. Look at those lashes. My lower lashes look like little feathers. For lashes, I have this sad looking lonely tray lying down in my drawer. So I'll use this. This is the Party Stick by XO Beauty. I'm going to use the top ones, the Hero. Okay, lipstick. I have no idea what to do. Should I do something fun like that? I don't know. Nude? Like warm nude? Maybe this one. Does this match? I have lip liners by Elizabeth Arden, but I don't think they'll match, so let's just go straight in. This color is the Always On Liquid Lipstick In Demand by Smashbox. That formula. That's a pretty color. This lash is actually ruining my day. Not really, but... Ooh. I feel like my eyebrows look really weird today. Are they too dark? I think it's because my hair is freshly done and freshly toned. So my hair looks lighter than normal, maybe. I really like this lip color, apart from this piece of dead skin that's just like chilling. So anyway, there is the finished look. I'm actually like pretty excited to keep using this primer. It worked really well. My skin looks flawless. I liked the lip oil too. I think definitely the fail of this video was the Marc Jacobs eye primer, unfortunately. I love the blush. Like I love it a lot. I love it so much more than I thought I would. I really liked this as well for a loose powder. It's probably one of the best loose powders I've tried so far. I don't know what it is about it. It just looks really nice on the skin up close. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to see more of these videos, as always, just thumbs up and comment down below. And let me know what videos you want to see next. I will be doing a couple more cocktail series videos and then I'm going to start a new series. I just have not had time to film them yet, but they will be coming. I think I'll do sangria and maybe pina colada or something like that because those seem to be very highly requested. So thank you for being patient with me. I've just had all of these other videos going up as well, like, you know, reviews and favorites videos and all this other stuff. So yeah, more tutorials are coming. I pinky swear. And yeah, I hope you guys have an amazing week and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye. You, it was just for fun. Oh, oh, oh. Now I feel like you're the only one. Oh, oh, oh. Now I'm feeling like we just begun. Just begun. Now I feel like.